Syngoniums, or goosefoot plants, as they are commonly known, have always been popular houseplants. They are easy and fast growing, do well in the average home, and don't have any particularly difficult cultural requirements. They just need a moist compost, something to climb, and a monthly feed. But as easy and attractive as they are, the various shades of green were not overly exciting. Syngoniums were often overlooked in favour of more showy houseplants. But all that changed when Syngonium Pink Splash arrived on the houseplant scene. It certainly was appropriately named as it is covered in splashes of pink and it created a splash when introduced. Early sales saw plants change hands for eye-watering sums of money. Even those who normally wouldn't look twice at a syngonium desperately wanted one. It's easy to see why. It really is a striking plant. The variety of colours from pale green to pinky green, greeny pink and even dark green are remarkable. You don't need flowers when a foliage plant looks this good. What you will need is a spot with bright but indirect light. If grown too dark, the wonderful colours will fade and will look washed out. Direct sun can scorch the leaves. Keep it frost free. This is a tropical plant, so freezing temperatures will cause considerable harm. Aim to keep the temperature above 10 degrees Celsius. Average room temperature around 20 degrees Celsius will be fine. Give it a moisture retentive compost and repot every one to two years. Water to keep that compost a little moist at all times. You can allow the top few centimetres of the compost to dry out in between watering. Tap water is fine. Try to keep water off the leaves, especially at night in cooler winter months. Avoid drafty locations and watch out for dry air which encourages red spider mites. This is a climbing plant so it will reach a point where it will need some support to climb. You can allow it to climb a moss pole or even a wooden stake. Aerial roots will cling to the support as the plant grows, but tie the stems with garden string to start them off. Stem cuttings with two to three leaves will root easily in gritty compost or a jar of water. And the final bit of good news is that the price of this stunning plant has come back down to earth. You can now get these wonderful plants at a very regular houseplant price. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. I really appreciate your support. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my plant videos. Thanks again, and I look forward to bringing you the next video soon.